sugar, spice, and everything nice. And not to forget Chemical X too. Those are the perfect concoction for three superhero daughters. If only we knew the perfect concoction to be attractive as well. Although attractiveness is subjective, there is no disputing that personality is one of those factors contributing to your attractiveness. Each Myers-Briggs type has a different appealing factor to them. So let's take a look at how to be more attractive based on your personality type. ENTJ. Confidence and being goal-oriented are positive traits of ENTJs. However, if in excess, these traits may make them appear arrogant to other people. As someone who values strategic thought and decisive action, ENTJ often pass judgment on those who lack these qualities. ENTJs often complete sentences, intervene, predict information, and make assumptions due to their intuition and quick thinking. Given their analytical and objective minds, ENTJs are great at identifying the faults and weaknesses of others. However, when paired with their unawareness of the feelings of others, it may make them look judgmental, nitpicky, and uncompromising. When ENTJs start to develop humility by appreciating other people and allowing them to be heard, they will become more attractive. ENTJs must improve their listening skills and not simply for the sake of arguing back. INTJ. For INTJs, rationality often matters more than the emotional aspect. In a romantic relationship, they approach it like most other issues, systematically, with clear strategies for accomplishing them. Unfortunately, love is seldom logical and you might misunderstand the complexity of human nature and emotion. In the face of strong emotions, INTJs will often turn to analyze the problem or simply shut down instead of just listening and giving support. You might also become uncomfortable when you need to be vulnerable to those close to you. As an INTJ, you can try to spend more time introspecting and reflecting on your emotional experience. Through this experience, you can learn to connect with your feelings stay connected with others and encounter tremendous emotional growth. ESTP, gregarious and fun-loving, ESTPs are the life of the party. Entertaining people and creating an atmosphere of excitement are their forte. ESTPs prioritize facts and reality over feelings and emotions. While ESTPs do not intend to hurt others, their lack of understanding of subtle emotions may make them appear cold and insensitive to others' needs at times. These personalities often have a lot of trouble acknowledging and expressing their own feelings as their attention is often directed away from themselves, preventing them from self-reflection. ESTPs can be more attractive by being more approachable and vulnerable with their emotions. They should be more open to taking time for self-reflection and introspection rather than focusing on the external environment or constantly giving attention to things outside of themselves. By engaging in healthy introspection, they can gain valuable lessons about their own character and development and address their own weaknesses. ISTP, inherently inquisitive about the mechanics of the world around them. ISTPs love to study how things work and frequently master the operation of machines, devices, and equipment. ISTPs are experts in technical and mechanical matters, which range from repairing a motorcycle to troubleshooting a computer. They are also quite helpful around the house and can fix almost anything with their hands, putting ideas into action. However, their knowledge and skills may not necessarily be transferable. ISTPs often heavily focus on one or two areas, such as engineering or coding, and spend no time outside of those hobbies. As a result, they may appear a little dull. It's important that ISTPs grow in their ability to explore topics outside of their domain or expertise. They can pick hobbies that hone their abstract or artistic skills rather than choosing one that involves cold analytical data. For example, they can learn new languages, photography, or painting. ESFP. Remember that one friend who spontaneously broke into song while you were shopping for your weekend barbecue party? The world is like a stage. The spotlight makes them feel alive. Each outing is a party for them. They enjoy soaking up the attention and making all things feel festive. If you have someone in your life with this lively and entertaining personality, they are most likely ESFPs. However, their exceptional showmanship and candor may not make them immune to criticism. They are highly sensitive souls who might be profoundly wounded when others criticize their views, attitudes, or behavior. ESFPs can boost their desirability by not taking criticism so seriously and to avoid reacting with bitterness and hostility. It may not feel easy at first to reprogram their thought pattern, 
but with effort and determination, they might become less reactive and more open-minded. ISFP. ISFPs enjoy an adaptable, flexible way of living. They live in the moment, taking each day as it comes. However, ISFPs go with the flow mindset may cause them to be blind to the full consequences of their action and be unable to stick to long-term plans. As a result, they may experience financial difficulties, be thrown off guard by tragedies, or not realize how unaddressed issues may sour relationships over time. Those interested in getting to know ISFPs may perceive ISFPs as irresponsible and not ready for commitment in serious relationships. ISFPs should sometimes look at the whole forest rather than the trees. Relationships are all about balancing the present with the future. ISFPs must have a mutual understanding with their partner of where they're heading in the relationship. And they must also allow some space to simply focus on the present moment. ESTJ, natural planners and organizers. ESTJs thrive on making lists and schedules in their daily lives. ESTJs are highly committed to their principles and beliefs and have a clear image of what qualifies and what does not. However, this black and white perspective may push people away as ESTJs fail to realize that there is more than one solution. People may view ESTJs as being judgmental, stubborn, or rigid, as ESTJs may become so fixed in their initial stance that they refuse to acknowledge any new evidence that might result in a different and maybe more accurate conclusion. ESTJs can work on their attractiveness scale by being more humble and realizing their way is not the only way. Focus on being more curious, asking questions, and acknowledge that other people may have another perspective that can be completely different than what they have. ISTJ. Some of ISTJ's admirable traits are their dedication and integrity. They frequently take responsibility for their decisions where they are able to admit their mistakes regardless of whether it causes them to appear bad. They value honesty highly, which drives them to heed their conscience rather than deceive to appease others. Schedules are extremely important and changes to them are not welcome as they often resist even necessary changes. They always act by the book, which can sometimes make the people in their lives feel suffocated when ISTJs are reluctant to bend those rules. ISTJs should try to let life flow naturally and experiment with taking on an unplanned date with their partner. It will also benefit them to be open-minded to discuss alternatives to rules or schedules that don't work rather than staying in the familiar rut of tradition. ESFJ. ESFJs are devoted helpers who are mindful of the needs of others and are enthusiastically committed to their obligations. Being sensitive to the emotions of others is natural to ESFJs. They invest their emotions, time, and effort to manage things for their loved ones so they can be regarded as trustworthy. However, their eagerness to please can sometimes mean that they leave themselves out of the equation. To increase their attractiveness, ESFJs should realize that nobody is capable of pleasing everyone at all times. They might at times become too dependent on others to the point that they feel uneasy if there is no one around to chat with. So it's highly suggested for ESFJs to take part in solitary hobbies to increase their self-reliance, connect with their feelings, and figure out how to function without continuous external stimulation. ISFJ. Do you know someone who rolls up their sleeves and shows up when someone needs their help and support? Keeping strong connections with their loved ones is a top priority and they devote a lot of energy to showing up for other people. ISFJs are recognized for their outstanding work ethic, yet this positive attribute may quickly turn into workaholism, leaving ISFJs so overwhelmed that they become distracted and removed from what is important in their personal life. As a result, the close people in their life may feel neglected and less important. For ISFJs, they can become more attractive by setting healthy boundaries between their professional and personal life so they don't clash and affect each other. For example, when it's time to leave the workplace, they should do so and try to shift their focus from work back to their relationships. ENFJ. An ENFJ's deep sense of altruism and empathy drives them to act when they see people suffering. They are intuitive when it comes to connecting with others' emotions and they can read other people's emotions simply by being near them. Their compassion, however, is not limited to those near them. They often have humanitarian tendencies and are concerned about the suffering of humankind. However, while they are eager to help, they can sometimes neglect their responsibilities to help the ones around them. As such, those interested in ENFJs have the impression that they don't have time for anything more than friendship. ENFJs can become more attractive by knowing when to prioritize their loved ones 
versus the strangers they wanna help. It's wonderful to have a deep desire to help people in need, but this does not release them from their duties as a partner, friend, or family member. For ENFJ relationships to flourish, they must continue investing their time, energy, and love in the close people they care about. INFJ, much like real life chameleons, INFJs are experts in blending in with their environment, adapting themselves to the people they're with to meet the specific social groups or people. For instance, they can appear like an intellectual to one person, a prankster to another, or a shy person to another friend by adjusting to the other person's communication style and preferences. As a consequence, most people don't learn about INFJs' genuine feelings and thoughts. They only see a shadow of the real INFJs, leading them to perceive INFJs as fake. INFJs can be more attracted by trying not to get along with literally anyone. I know, I know, this may sound counterintuitive, but being authentic and acting from a place of honesty is far superior to acting from a place of pretense. ENTP. ENTPs like experimenting with ideas and bantering with others. Quick-witted, ENTPs use their mastery of language to gain an advantage over others, often playfully teasing their behaviors and oddities. But because they frequently focus on the big picture, they often forget important details about their loved ones, such as birthdays or anniversaries, making their loved ones feel insignificant. ENTPs may also become too engrossed in their concepts and ideas that they lose track of the urgent responsibilities around them, such as household chores and paying bills. As a result, people may perceive ENTPs as irresponsible. ENTPs can be more attractive by learning to prioritize what's important and weed out those competing distractions. Looking at the small pictures is necessary, as the neglect of these small details may be the cause of relationship breakdowns. INTP. INTPs possess a profound intellect beneath their quiet exterior, which they bring to any setting. They're rational, quick thinkers, and have a knack in analyzing everything that they encounter, from research data to the behavior of the people around them. However, this relentless quest for facts and objectivity may often lead to impatience and an inclination to be judgmental and critical towards those not as quick-witted as they are. They're also not sensitive to the emotional cues of others, which can become toxic in relationships where rationality does not always prevail. While emotional sensitivity and attentiveness may not come easily to INTPs, engaging in behaviors that make others feel seen and heard will increase their capacity to empathize and relate to other people. INTPs can increase their desirability if they learn to be patient towards those who may not have as formidable intellect as them. ENFP. ENFPs are enthusiastic trailblazers. They prefer spontaneity and refuse to get tethered to a routine. Since they are the go with the flow type of people, they often don't prepare or plan ahead of time, which may sometimes give off the impression to those who are interested in them that they're last minute additions to the ENFP's plans. ENFPs also greatly desire external validation to make them feel more confident in themselves. ENFPs should understand that not everyone prefers spontaneity and that even small plans can make their loved ones feel valued. ENFPs attractiveness may be prominent if they strive to look more to themselves for approval and worry less about what others think. INFP. One of INFP's key assets is empathy, yet it may also pose as a problem at times since INFPs are prone to absorbing other people's unpleasant emotions or views, they may sometimes become so overwhelmed that they isolate themselves into their inner sacred space and shut everyone out. This can mean not responding to their friends' messages or calls, failing to follow through on plans, and deleting all their social media accounts. For this reason, it's important to learn to be aware of how these periods of deep emotion and processing may be pushing other people away try to rise to the surface and experience the world more frequently. Remember, every person has their own distinct taste. It's impossible to be like everyone. However, there is no need to be inflexible about your personality and you can become a more attractive version of yourself by working on your flaws. Give people a chance to get to know you so you can grow on them, even if doing so makes you feel susceptible to rejection. So no matter how unappealing you think you are, there's still so much room for growth and attracting the right person for you.